guys from Guruji here and today I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on how to improve your ICO 3. So first and the foremost thing is about the camera. So a lot of people who have ICO 3 are saying that okay the wide angle lens is really good but what about the camera? You know what about the main lens? How good is that? So okay that's debatable alright so the wide angle lens is really nice and the main lens is a great aperture but the problem is uh, it does not click really nice pictures because of the optimization only the main lens so what we have done is I've installed Gcam so I will be attaching the version of Gcam Right. So now I'm going to uh, tell you what to do. Okay. First, you just download the uh, file that I'll be attaching in the link. Right. And then what you do is you just go to APKs. Uh, and as you can see, there's a camera. Right. Just click on the camera. You get this pop up. Click install. This will not replace your main camera. This will just add an add-on camera that is Gcam for you to use. All right. So that's really cool, and you can enjoy that. Right. Secondly, okay, so as you know that um, the launcher that came with the phone was okay, it's not the best. I would suggest using Nova launcher because Nova launcher works for me now. So as you can see, I've customized it pretty much, KWGT widgets and a custom icon pack. You can put an icon pack of your choice. Okay, so what happens is the wallpapers that came with the phone are not that cool. Right, they're great, but they're not that great. So what we do is, uh, you can download different wallpapers app. I would suggest Wally because Wally has like really cool wallpapers that you can use to customize your phone, and they're really nice. That you user made, as you can see, my net is a bit slow, but as you can see, it has all the popular wallpapers that you see in setups. In case uh, you are interested in making better setups, you can download an app called Pro Screens. So this is the app called Pro Screens. In this, you can see all the various uh, you know setups done by people. And when you click on the setups, it's going to show you the setup. And uh, when you click on details, it's going to show you all the details that there are uh, in the setup. So that's really really cool, right? And uh, yeah, this way you can get everything you want on your you know phone easy, without an issue, and your phone will look really really cool. So try that. Another app that I would suggest using with IQ specifically because it has a dedicated DAC for uh, you know earphones is called uh, Wavelet. So the best part about Wavelet is as you know uh, IQ3 already has Hi-Fi DAC right. So when I plug in uh, the audio jack you can see that as soon as the audio jack is plugged in there are a lot more options available so uh, what you can do is you can switch on the auto EQ as soon as you switch on the auto EQ you get this notification bar kind of a thing um, you know a little notification in that you can add whatever headphones you have and it will suggest a equalizer for the headphones what happens with this is and if you select a uh, graphic EQ you can get so many options for different equalizers what this does is it it actually optimizes your audio for the phone without actually needing root access so that's really cool especially given the fact that we have a hi-fi DAC on IQ3 right other than that okay so these were a few of the points right so other than that uh, Something that I like, something that is not easily optimized and the company does not tell is if you are a fitness freak and you want to, you know, use something that is hard coded in your phone, I would suggest using the Jovi's smart scene feature. But the only thing is, the problem is when you actually first time go to smart screen, it does not show you everything so neat and tidy. It actually has a lot of uh, idiotic news and, you know, stuff that you really, really don't need. So if that is, uh, you know, you don't like that, it's a simple thing. You go into the settings, right? As you can see, 
in the settings uh, there's a lot of options that I have ticked off I would suggest you also tick off these options because they just end up uh, seeming like ads and are very irritating after you switch off all these options and you go to more settings and you just keep the smart scene enabled what happens is that um, you get a really nice exercise page wherein what I really like about this page is the amount of calories you burn are converted into the type of food you eat. So right now I have not gone for any activity. It just shows me 12 calories ate and that is equal to 0.4 cookies. So this way if you are looking to lose weight, this might help you. All right. Next is uh, some smart features on the IQ. Right. So a lot of people you know don't really go over these features and they're really uh, really cool but not a lot of features are actually accessed by people okay so i switched off jovi vision because i think it's idiotic and irritating but uh, i'm going to show you something really cool so there's something in shortcuts and accessibility known as smart motion once you click on smart motion click on smart call this way you get all the smart call features so uh, the first feature is called smart call wherein you can uh, be on a contact screen or the message screen of a contact and as soon as you put the phone to your ear it will automatically call people right same is the case with smart answer if you're getting a call and you put it up to your ear you can uh, directly answer the call this way you know it it affords a ease so if i have a contact that I really need to call I'm already on the texting page I just pick it up and the call starts so this is really cool and uh, yes this has shake to turn on flashlight like moto so I don't know who needs it but if you need it it's there and yeah as you can see Jovi smart scene just reminded me to drink water so this is really cool if you're trying to use an integrated health app kind of a thing and I hope they include you know uh, pairing it with your smart watches and stuff because that would be really cool other than that, uh, there's not much that is needed, though a lot of people would uh, like to hear it. It's an ear customized sound effect. So if you enable this, let's say you have someone in your family who is uh, elder, you know, who is like more than 60 years old. And when they hear something on your phone, their ears hurt. It's a possible thing. You can turn this on and you can optimize it for, you know, above 60. So whenever they hear, the audio will be optimized in such a way to not damage their ear. Alright, so guys, this was her tips of tips and tricks and you know improving the camera of IQ3. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.